Hi, this video will showcase the PAN, that is Permanent Account Number Validation. The Data Validator step will perform the PAN card number length and format validation. Let us begin. We will work with this file structure. It has an input file. Let us see the contents of the file. The file has a list of PAN card numbers that we wish to validate. A PAN card number has 10 character length. The first five characters are capital letters. The next four characters are numerals and the last character is a capital letter. Let us go to Process Studio. I have created a project PAN card validation and also a workflow. Let us begin workflow creation. First of all, drag and drop a Microsoft Excel input step. Let us click the properties. Let us call it read PAN card number. Select the spreadsheet engine, browse for the input file and add it to the list of files. In the fields tab, get the fields that is PAN card number. Go back to the Files tab. You can make the file path dynamic. Provide the parameter internal entry current directory that reflects the current workflow directory. Click OK. Next, let us add the data validator step. Let us configure it. Let us add a new validation. Let us call it PAN validation. Click OK. Click on your new validation on the left hand side. Let us select the field to validate. In our case, there is only one field, but we can validate multiple fields with multiple validations. Let us provide an error code. Let us provide an error description. You can provide type validation. Let us focus on the data validation. Null values are not allowed. The maximum length is 10. The minimum length is also 10. And we will provide a regular expression to match. As mentioned, the first five characters are capital letters. The next four characters are numerals and the last character is a capital letter. Let us click OK. Let us drag and drop two Excel output steps. Let us configure them one by one. Let us call the first step valid PAN card numbers. We will store the file in the current workflow directory and let us call it Correct PAN card numbers. The extension is XLSX. Let us go to the Fields tab and it will store the correct PAN card numbers. Let us click OK. Now let us look at the feature of error handling. Right click on the step and click error handling. You can configure the error description's field name. So let us call it error description. You can also provide an error fields field name and an error codes field name. We will click OK. Now we'll connect the second field as an error handling step. Click Copy. Let us configure the second step. Let us call it invalid PAN card numbers. We will also store it in the current workflow directory. Let us call the file invalid PAN card numbers. Let us go to the Fields tab. Click Get Fields. Click OK. We are now ready to execute the workflow. Let us run the workflow. The workflow has completed successfully. Let us preview the data. The input file has a list of nine PAN card numbers. The data validator step is showing three valid records, which are also passed to the valid PAN card numbers file. In the invalid PAN card numbers file, there are six rows with the error description invalid PAN card number. You can validate one of them it starts with four letters, whereas there should be five letters. Hence, it is an invalid PAN card number. Thus, we have successfully bifurcated valid and invalid PAN card numbers. We saw how to validate PAN card numbers using the data validator step, also including the regular expression to match. Thank you for watching.